December is right around the corner, which means so is Advent to Code 2021. This year I once again plan to complete the challenges and upload all my work here to my YouTube page just like I have in the past two years. This video is meant to be both an introduction to Advent to Code, as well as to let you guys know how I plan to do the challenges in the corresponding videos. First up, let's talk about Advent to Code, starting with what is it in the first place? Well, as the name implies, it's an advent calendar centered around solving coding questions. A link to the full about page for Advent to Code will be linked in the description below, but long story short, each day a new coding challenge is released. Each challenge has two parts, with each part giving you a gold star for solving it. This means that you can earn up to 50 gold stars in total if you solve every challenge. Once released, challenges do not close or time out, so you can do them at your own leisure. However, there is a public scoreboard that tracks the first 100 solvers for each part if you're more into competitive coding. The questions start out relatively easy and progressively get harder each day. A beginner level programmer can usually solve the first five or so days pretty confidently, after which they will start to be challenged. Usually up to day 15 is a solid intermediate level challenge questions, and everything after that is generally ranges from intermediate to pretty advanced. Don't think this is gospel, however, as difficulty is very subjective and some advanced questions might be very easy if you understand the question more quickly. All I'm trying to get at here is that there is a slow difficulty curve as the days go on, but even if you're just starting out as a programmer, the first few days are very capable challenges for anyone to solve, and they should just keep trying each day to see how far you can get, and also it's a good way to challenge yourself and become a better programmer. Coupled with watching videos from people like me to see how we solve them and to learn from, it's good experience. The challenges will occasionally build upon previous days, with 2019 having several days that progress to building a more and more capable custom programming language parser and executor. That being said, most challenges are standalone, but they will all build upon an overarching story that creator Eric Watzel likes building into the event as a whole. If you have any doubt though, go try the previous year's questions out as they are all still there on the site and you can get a better feel of how things will go for you that way. Okay, so now that we know a little bit more about what Advent Code is, let's get into the specifics of this year, starting with what I plan to do for them. The answer to that is that I'll be completing all the challenges in Java and posting my code to my GitHub just like the past two years. Why Java? Well, simply put, it's because it's the language that I'm most confident in and I feel like I can reasonably complete all 25 days with. Beyond that, I also have to be able to teach and explain my solutions. Trying to do that with code that I've hobbled together through Google searches or less than ideal coding practices because I'm not familiar enough with the programming language is just not going to work out. Plus, because I'm not going for the leaderboards in any competitive nature, I can use a more verbose language like Java. Also, do you really want to see another Python code solution? Java isn't as heavily used in Advent to Code, and due to it being a major first language taught in many schools, I feel like this is the right choice. Moving towards my videos now, yes I'll be making daily YouTube videos of my solutions and explaining how they work. For the first 10 days or so I'll be trying to do more in-depth explanations of my code at the end after I've solved both parts so that newer programmers can learn more about what exactly my code is doing, but as they get harder and harder my summary explanations will lose detail and become more high level solutions focusing only on specific bits of code and not what every single line of code is doing. The videos this year will be posted as soon as I finish my solutions, edit the footage down to a more reasonable length, and the leaderboard is completely filled up for the day. I seriously doubt my videos or code would be actually able to be useful in helping people make it on the leaderboard, but nonetheless I'll be following that. Yes, that doesn't mean my code will also not be pushed to GitHub until that point as well. This will get tricky though as I'll be streaming my work towards the problems on the days that my streams overlap. This means that on Mondays and Wednesdays I'll be solving Tuesdays and Thursday problems because of the day rollovers, live on my Twitch page at twitch.tv slash turkeydev. Realistically, you probably won't be able to use my stream to hit the leaderboards, but at any rate, just, just don't. It's not really worth it, I don't want to have to say this, but I feel like I need to, just to be clear. Beyond that though, just know that the videos might look different depending on if they were coded live on stream or offline. The format for the videos will be pretty straightforward though, I'll try my best to keep all the videos under 30 minutes, but ideally under 20. The start will only be a brief synopsis of the question as I read it to myself, so you may want to read the question yourself if you want to be more fully understanding of the prompt. After that, I will show all the relevant bits to my solution for the first part. I will do my best to not cut out any relevant work on code that goes into the solution, but as we get into the harder harder problems, I may cut out some work to keep the timings just as I mentioned before. 
I will cut out all non-relevant work though, just to avoid confusion. Yes, I know that may leave some gaps in how you see my process, but again, to hit the timing lengths, I don't want to waste your time on the wrong code here. After solving the first part, I'll repeat this process by reading the second part of the problem and then showing my solution. Again, keeping to the same edits as I just mentioned. Once I have hopefully solved both parts and submitted my answers, I will then move on to going over my code and summarizing it to explain what I did and sort of why I got to here. Again, to reiterate, the early days will include more in-depth explanations going over all parts of the code. As we get deeper and deeper into the days, my explanations will be less and less in-depth and focus more on only the important bits of code and high-level summaries. And that'll do it for the video format. I will try my best to have every video timestamped with chapters in the descriptions, but depending upon how late it is, I may leave that for the morning. Lastly this year, I've also made my own private leaderboard for anyone who wants to join. The code to join is in the description below, so feel free to join and try out the challenges with me. Again, I ask that you code the solution yourself as that's really the spirit of this whole thing. Anyways, I hope you guys are excited for this year's Advent to code like I am, and I look forward to the questions. Eric, I appreciate all your work if you're watching this, but that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.